The FBI joins the investigation into vandalism at a mosque in Baltimore County. Mike Chu explains why the feds are getting involved. In this Halethorpe strip mall, between the caterers and the insurance agent, the national language of Pakistan is heard. Friday prayers are to Muslims, what Saturday is to Jews, Sunday to Christians. It's here that Abain Reckman comes to pray. The glass was all over the place. Earlier this week, this back window is shattered. Where worshippers are now, the glass coated the carpet. The rock, it's the reminder in the corner. It must be at least 10 pounder. Leaders take me around back. It's fenced. There's only one way in or out. Before they cast their stone, the vandals walked right past this rock pile. Though the hole in this window is obviously large enough for someone to fit through, no one went inside. It could be hate crime or it could be just a little mischief of somebody, teenager. Nothing was taken from inside. The damage is only a couple of hundred bucks, but because this is a place of worship, county police want to know if it's a hate crime. A crime that's committed out of a motive of prejudice or hatred for a certain group of people. They're not sure it is, but a national Islamic organization made the FBI aware of what happened here. So whenever it happens, uh, we don't regard any incident as too small. Or discussaya. Forty families now wonder why and would like to talk with the culprits. And I like to know that what really provoked for you to show us that what your feelings are. I like to hear those feelings verbally instead of you showing it through a rock. That was Mike Shu reporting from Baltimore County. If you can add to their investigation, please ask you to give them a call. The